Well, history, I guess, would suggest that we try to get back to 1830 as quickly as we possibly can. <laughs> but uh, what is 1830? It's a bit of a puzzle. And, and uh, m my argument is that uh, what happened finally and conclusively and manifestly uh, in the early part of the 19th century in Britain and America, later France and Germany, was the uh, emergence of what I call a modern economy, an economy uh, of dynamism, uh, the dynamism to generate innovation. But, but what was behind that, I think, was modern values. Uh, working for yourself, thinking for yourself. So there's all that individualism uh, uh, fermenting uh, in, in, in these uh, countries. And in addition, you had the vitalism of uh, that depicted in, in uh, Cervantes and Shakespeare, and, and, and you have and you have the 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 need for self-expression, the need for exploration, the leap into the void. It, that, all that exciting stuff came in the 19th century, and I think that 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 reflected a desire to innovate, and maybe it also encouraged some innovators. Who knows?